Milan TV. This is my starting 11 show for the game between the Republic of Ireland and Georgia at the Aviva Stadium for Tuesday night. Um, so I, I've, I kind of feel like I want to go with the same starting 11 that started against uh, Gibraltar because I feel like the conditions and everything like that, I, I feel like that we didn't really get to see the best of that team because of the, because of the pitch, because of the wind, because it was just a horrible, horrible match and I think everybody uh, who's associated with the team or associated with the fans or anything like that will just feel the same way about it. Um, Darren Randolph and goal, obviously he saved us with a magnificent save from Cipollina and he's, he, for me, he, he, he has to be our goalie. Um, he's never let us down, realistically. Uh, he's you know, he's having a great season at Middlesbrough as well. I think he's 15. He's definitely got the most clean sheets in the championship anyway. Um, again, proved why he should be there with that save. You know, we had a conceded there. God knows what could have happened. So, for me, Darren Randolph has to start and seems in quite confident mood, obviously, in the press conference today. So, uh, I think he has to start. Then, um, a left-back, Enda Stevens. I thought he didn't do it, put a foot wrong against Gibraltar I think every time he plays for Ireland he never really puts a foot wrong and he's having a fantastic season at his club as well so I don't see why he shouldn't start he's done nothing wrong to you know rule him out of this game in any way shape or form I think he'll go with the same formation as he went with um, versus Gibraltar I think he'll go 4-4-2 again and uh, yeah, I um, unless Shane Duffy's ruled out because you know he had to go for a scan for like a precaution today on his ankle. So as long as that's going all going well there, I'd like him to start. And I'd probably have to say I'd like to see Kyo just start there as well, just because he's used to these high pressure games. He's played before for some of these high pressure games, so I think he'd be used more used to the the scenario. Really, you know, he's he's played some of our biggest and best games in the Euros against Germany and so on, so forth. Uh, and he's been quite solid. So, yeah, I think as much as I'd like to see Egan in there as well, I think for this game, maybe he might sit it out if Duffy's back. But if he's not, then I'll have Duffy and, uh, or sorry, Egan and Kyo. So, yeah, look, I think the, ba- the back four pretty much picked itself, I think, if if Duffy's fit. So, um, yeah, Seamus Coleman at, at right back, captain. Again, didn't do a whole lot wrong the other night. Um, but he didn't have a lot to to aim at really you know um so yeah Seamus for me right back dependable as always for us and again another player's never really let us down so um I'd choose him and then in front of him I'd have Matt Doherty there again I know he wasn't that effective against Gibraltar but again I go, I go back to the situation in regards to the pitch the weather and everything that's around that night it was just look it's just we got out of jail that night and you know count our blessings for it we go on and I think we really need to be looking at him uh, at the Aviva you know it's a big wide open pitch for him to, 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 to get a run on people he's having a fantastic season he you know he mu- every time he steps to the piss, uh, pitch <laughs> every time he steps on the pitch he must feel like he's going to score so for me he has to start uh, he's the only player who looks like he's carrying that bit of threat about him you know and then uh, I would have to stay uh, stick with uh, Hendrick and Hoor the other night far from the other night because you know they were effective. Hoor got man of the match, had his best game for Ireland. I think we've all been calling for Hoor to have a good game for Ireland because we all you know would like to see him be a regular if he could, if he can play well. So let's hope this is the start of it and maybe Mick McCarthy's better at getting the, the most out of Hurahin than say O'Neill and Keane or maybe who knows people will say maybe it's only Gibraltar but sure look at the other players that didn't really turn up against them so it's a hard one to, to, to kind of call but I'm, I think we should we should stick with Hurahin and Hendrick for this one Hendrick took his goal well you know he, he was banging on today about how Mick's been trying to tell him to get into the box and try and get on the end of things and score a goal so he's done that he's done his job and he's taken a lot of criticism from myself included um, I think I think I think now he might he may blossom. Who knows? We'll, we'll have to see that that one goes tomorrow. But that's who I'd have in the middle, and then to the left. I know in my starting eleven I picked uh, Brady last time, but uh, 
you know, McLean, I think at the Aviva, I think I'll, I probably would start him just for this one. Uh, see who he gets on for the first half, and if it's not working for him, I'd probably whip him off at half time and replace him with Brady. Um, I think Mick McCarthy will probably end up starting Brady somewhere in there anyway. But uh, if I if I'm going for the team that I would like to see, I'd probably go McLean, and then I would probably have um Brady coming off the bench if 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 you can't fit him in there. But it'd be interesting to see kind of what way he goes because he was talking about Darty and. Um, he was talking about Doherty and Coleman not really working out so it'll be interesting to see what, what he thinks did it not work out just that night will it be an experiment he goes with again you'd like to think he will go with it again because uh, they're obviously our two best players on the right hand side and the Stevens left on the wrong on the left hand side and and that, well, he might who knows what way he, he will go but then I, I, I think we should stick with Sean McGuire. I think he just needs to get a goal. I know people say he can't play a couple of games in quick succession and all that. But I think this is a game for, for someone like him to you know, make his claim to be a real hero. And you know if he gets a goal to, to, to beat th these guys tomorrow, I don't see... you know there's a, there's a spot there for a striker to get their name continuously in the headlines as our main striker. I think this is tailor-made for him to go and, and do that. Now, I thought McGoldrick had a decent enough game, provided an assist again, and just looked looked like he was ready to put, it, put, it, put himself about and get amongst it, which is what we've been kind of lacking. You know, the last player that kind of comes to mind when I think of that is Jonathan Walters, and now obviously he's retired. So uh, we, need, we need people who are going to be busy, and we need people who are going to be able to run the channels and and stretch these because they've played us off the park the last time we played them and we'd like to think that this time you know hopefully we could maybe nick one or two goals i think maybe a shane duffy uh, goal from a set piece or you know it doesn't really matter how they go in just once once we get a couple of goals but how nice would it be for, for you know either mcgoldrick or mcguire if they start i hope they do if they were to get on the score sheet and you know, and then may maybe regularly start scoring because that's what we need is we need a regular goal scorer. We need someone who can feel like they're going to get chances and put them away and feel confident playing in that green shirt. And I think Maguire has it in him. We just haven't seen it yet. And I think tomorrow could just be that game that he needs. Just it, it could go in any way off him, in, a, in off a corner, hits up more, whatever. Um, but I think if we are to play with Maguire, I think... We, we should try and maybe keep the ball down a bit more. He's a runner, so he wants to get in behind. So if we can try and get the ball up the midfield without lumping it long and bypass the midfield, you know, maybe look to get the midfield to get them on a Hurrahan to pick a pass, as we've seen the other night. So if we can get Hurrahan to play him in, then we will. Uh, well, you'd like to think we will. So let us know your thoughts in the comments on the starting 11. Uh, would you change anybody? Are you happy with my picks? Um, some people probably aren't. But sure, look. All I want tomorrow is three points and I don't care about anything else. We have to start. These are, these are the two games that we, we wanted to start off the group to get ourselves in a positive position considering how negative and horrible the last rain ended. So, uh, yeah, that's just been my, my, my two cents on it. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video. I'll speak to you all soon and uh, if you guys are around the Balls Bridge Hotel, Tomorrow, uh, we'll be interviewing fans before and after the game. So, if you want to get yourself interviewed, you know what to do. We'll speak to you guys soon. Thank you.